your love makes me strong but your hate makes me unstoppable this is a quote about Cristiano Ronaldo and in this video we're gonna talk about how Cristiano Ronaldo is able to deal with stressful situations hate and pressure and we're gonna talk about what psychological tools he's really using and how you can use it in your life doesn't matter what type of sport you're player or what type of job you're doing and let's start by talking about how well, the story that Cristiano Ronaldo shares in his autobiography as well as well as uh, media covered this situation very heavily and this situation happened in the World Cup when he was playing for Portugal against England right and uh, he was on the side of Portuguese of course and uh, Rooney his teammate at that time in Manchester United was playing for England so basically to not make this story long he he uh, did um, put some pressure on the referee and the referee made the choice to eliminate Rooney from the field and he winked at his um, coach to basically showing that he has done his job. He had done his job, right? And that was not a cool move. Obviously, we all understand that so many people understood that, but and we're not here to judge him obviously a lot of us had made bad decisions in life, at least I did and but the amount of hate he received because he was playing for English club at that time he played it for Manchester United he received death threats and just so much hate that was um, a little bit maybe disproportionate with what with the type of uh, uh, misdemeanor that he has done because that's yeah anyway so and he shares in his autobiography a psychological tool he's using in order to really get over that hate because some hate you can really uh, use it as an energy as a fuel if you want to call it that as a fuel to really even improve your game and play better than you did but some hate is just so evil if you want to call it that way it's just it doesn't even you shouldn't even try to really let it in you should really block it out and if you're not able to do that unfortunately a lot of times people even end up in hospitals right and that is just not a healthy option and therefore you have to develop the skills this you have to really look for tools psychological tools that you could use in order to improve your mental health and in order to be more mentally tough because that's all this channel is about this channel is about uh, giving you guys tools about how to not fall apart in the face of pain and suffering that's really what this channel is about and we're analyzing Cristiano Ronaldo right now and let's talk about what psychological tool he really shared in his autobiography so basically he, the way he deals with stress with pressure with hate is very 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 similar to uh, Rafael Nadal that I and I've already discussed those tools that Rafael Nadal is using to be to be as mentally tough as he is he's arguably one of the best players on the ATP tour so what they do both of them do they imagine putting the, this wall around themselves right that does that is kind of like a bulletproof but in like mentally bulletproof right that doesn't let negative energy energy and hate to go through it so whenever Ronaldo especially at that time was going out on the field he realized that English spectators were really were really going to cheer against him and were really gonna say really hurtful things to towards him so he imagined putting up this wall that was kind of bulletproof uh, that was kind of bulletproof uh, psychologically so he didn't really feel that much hate towards him and as I've already said Rafael Nadal shares the same technique um, he also uses imagination where he imagines that ma making a wall around himself kind of uh, but he really imagines this wall as um, as a support of his family members as a support of his friends and family members that are really cheering for him and on his side while he's playing on the court 
So that's a really, really helpful technique because uh, earlier or later in life, uh, all of us are gonna screw up as Cristiano Ronaldo did at that time. But the real difference is that it's on different levels, right? And of course, the amount of hate that Cristiano Ronaldo received is most probably not gonna be the same type, the same amount of hate that we are gonna receive, right, in our life. But if you are let's say very famous person or if you are if a lot of people just a lot of people know you maybe that is going to be the case and building this type of psychological tools especially if you know that you are gonna um gonna see some people that are negative towards you or maybe that are not like you because whatever whatever type of person you are whether you're famous or not famous there are people that just bring in negative energy and it doesn't mean that they're bad people but maybe your uh, your personalities don't match up and this type of imagination exercise especially before you meet someone uh, or you go to the place where you know it's just gonna be very negative or let's say maybe you are playing uh, one um, a tournament right or a match against someone and you know you're gonna receive a lot of negative energy from maybe spectators or from that person you just know that that person is known to be a very uh, I don't know annoying or maybe uh, just uh, some even sometimes people could use insults against you against you or just you just feel the bad energy you imagine this wall and you put it up around yourself and this could be just just you could just imagine a wall or this could be a wall that is uh, I don't know insults proof or maybe I don't know this is a wall of peace I don't know whatever type of wall you need personally like for example for Rafael Nadal it's a wall of gratitude for this amount of support that he receives from his uh, family and friends as I've already mentioned uh, mentioned it earlier yes so it's very important it's also very important to really read about people like Cristiano Ronaldo and really try to read his autobiographies and not only maybe listen to this channel or other channels that are really helpful but also try to uh, read um, at least autobiographies of people like Cristiano Ronaldo because he is really sharing a lot of great tools right that are extremely helpful and in this channel we're also going to talk about a lot of other tools that he is using that he shares and he's as I've already mentioned autobiographies as well as in interviews because success always leaves clues right and we don't want to miss uh, those clues we don't want to miss the tools especially psychological tools because psychology is just so important um, if you have the right tools you are just gonna ha you are gonna have that much better chances of um, achieving the success and the goal that, the goals that you want to achieve and if you don't have the right tools any little deta detail any small detail can really end your career and especially uh, not such a small detail as death threats and maybe just realizing as Cristiano Ronaldo that he screwed up big time really by pressuring a referee to really give a red card to his teammate on the field so it's uh, very important that you watch uh, maybe to this channel if you like it so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you watch other channels and maybe read these books firsthand read some psychological books and really try to try to um try to get as many psychological tools as you can also uh it's very important to prepare for yourself for the events that are coming up and I've already mentioned that it in this video if you know you're gonna go somewhere that is very negative and sometimes it's not even the field or the game and sometimes it's a locker room locker room is very important part of the game right it's very important part of practice uh, because so much is done in the locker room this um, 
a locker room talks as Donald Trump called them are have a lot of times have very very Im huge impact and not always positive impact on uh, boys and on girls as well you know so a lot of times you really need to prepare yourself for you know uh, for bad influence of people and really put up this wall that is kind of bulletproof and really keep your own frame keep your own goals in mind but you really need that sort of wall around you and you need to imagine it you need to really use this exercise a lot be until you become very very um I guess successful in blocking out negative energy and blocking out um, <clears throat> just negative people even hate and opinions of others as I've already said is sometimes it happens not because um, the person is bad it's just bad personality match and you don't need to really always try to figure it out sometimes you just have to block out hate and as i've already said negative energy thank you so much for watching this video till the end don't forget to subscribe to this channel click like button click all buttons and thank you so much for watching this video till the end